Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope for Saturday in the Christmas season, when we Dominicans also celebrate the memorial of St. Raymond of Penafort, 13th century Dominican who was master of the order, also became an archbishop. I want to wish you once again a happy new year early in this season and hope that you and your family receive all the blessings that God has to share with you. Today, we have in the gospel the story of the wedding feast at Cana from John's gospel. It is always used to highlight marriage, the blessing of marriage, the grace of marriage, the courage of marriage, the holiness and worthiness of love between people who commit themselves to one another for the rest of their lives. I guess it's appropriate to thank all of you in committed marriage relationships for the witness of your love. It is also a sign to the disciples of Jesus of his extraordinary connection to God and the extraordinary powers he demonstrates. The gospel is very familiar and contains so much. There was a wedding feast in Cana in Galilee. The mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to attend. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, do whatever he tells you. And you know the story of the big six stone water jars that were turned miraculously into the best wine the hosts could have hoped for. I'm always stunned by Jesus saying, woman, what does this concern of yours have to do with me? After I was ordained, I tried that on my mother. I assure you, it did not go over well. There were many reasons why Jesus probably didn't want, did not want to do this miracle just then. Probably because as his first sign, didn't want people going to him just because of the extraordinary miracles, instead of paying attention to his word and to his message of love and mercy and forgiveness. But he did it anyway. He did it out of love for his mother he did it out of love for his hosts. And it raises the question, how many times have you done something you'd preferred not to have done out of love? How many times do we all do that? Married people know exactly what I'm asking and what I'm talking about. And once again, we thank you for the selfless example and witness that you give in caring for another as much as you care for yourself. Today, I invite all of us to think about those who need to be tended to, even if it's uncomfortable for us. Let us pay attention to others today, and even when we'd rather not do something. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us do it. God bless you.